All right, we are outside of the new office and um, see the weeds are kind of high over here, but uh, be showing a little bit more here in detail, but I'm just showing the outside here, the entryway. And then I'm gonna actually, we're gonna go inside and I'll show you around. So let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna head inside now. Open the door here. First thing, it's kind of an interesting deal. Right down there. You can see it there is an old wood cook stove. So that'll be our third wood cook stove now. We actually have two other ones, so pretty neat. Um, here we are in the kitchen. This is exactly how we bought it, well, except for my wife's things there on the thing in the tripod there. I didn't buy that, but um, you can see there's still some stuff over there on the shelf. All the, there's up there some different things there. Inside the cabinets, there's light bulbs, candles, um, all sorts of things. I'm just going to do a quick walk through here. But uh, there's the stove, everything, knives, silverware. I have the refrigerator out right now because I had to pull the plug on it. But um, the little sink there, little island that you can prepare stuff, blender, mixing bowls, pretty much everything. Toaster, I guess that thing is or something. Microwave, going to be getting rid of that, of course. <laughs> but um, then you go into this room here, which would have been kind of the living room. Washer and dryer, which we won't use. Probably sell that. We have our off-grid laundry thing. Here's the one bathroom, which we'll be getting rid of a lot of that stuff too, because it has uh, town water, which we're not interested in, fluoridated, chlorinated. <laughs> Toxicated, but this is a this is kind of the bigger living room, probably the biggest room in the place. Um, so, I'm not sure exactly what I'll be using this room for yet, but um, this room or this door right here goes out to the out to the garage. So, sticks a little bit on the floor there, but not a huge deal, I guess. And then, going back through the kitchen again, and then we enter into, this is a neat old door, old built-in hutch here. You open this up, and it goes through there like that to the other room. Kind of neat, old house feature. A lot of beautiful woodwork in this place. I apologize for the low lighting. There's not a whole lot of lanterns or lights are in here or whatever else. This will be my wife's office here where her computer is going to be. Um, this door right there goes down to the basement. We won't bother opening that. We're going down to the basement because it's just half dirt floor, half concrete floor. Um, this here, again, I apologize for how dark it is in here. This door goes out to the little sunroom out there. And then this will be my office in here. Neat old fashioned windows up there, kind of stained glass, whatever. But this will be my office here where I'll be doing live streaming and just different types of computer work whatever my editing room and everything else so and it, and it has four bedrooms and each room has a bed in it so and this is all ours it, it all came with it so pretty amazing um, really neat now we will go down the hallway here 
All right, here's the, I guess, master bathroom, which again, we will be taking a lot of stuff out of there because we don't want the town water or flush toilets. We will be putting composting toilets in. Then over here is another bedroom. This one has a really neat bed in it, very beautiful old wooden one. You can see the sort of the carved posts there. Maple floors in here, hardwood maple floors. Don't, don't you don't need to plug that in, son. Um, again, uh, go ahead, open up the closet, son. Um, yeah, it's dark in there. We'll just kind of turn on the light here. All the blankets and everything else in there yet. Just really amazing. And there's me. So, big full length mirror inside the closet door. Uh, one of the things you look for when you're looking at an old house like this is are the doorways straight? <laughs> That's an important thing because if the house is leaning and whatever else, like our place at Bridgewater, you'll see that the door jams and everything will be very crooked. So, but anyways, you go across, so this is a, for the linens and everything, bath linens. Let me see if I can get my flashlight out here. Just give me a minute. Again, blankets, towels, washcloths. Pipe. Yep, so. Um, there's the bathroom again, and then this here is going to be sort of our documentation room. I have a free computer chair over there, which is pretty neat, and another bed. We got plenty of beds in here, and it's kind of interesting because this is the room we were going to use for documentation, and here there's a, a nice filing cabinet in it, so that's pretty nice. So, there's that. Now what we'll do, you want to turn the light on there, son? Go ahead, turn it on. The other one. Yep, there you go. So there's some really neat features on the, in the stair corners there. If you can see those little brass things, it's pretty neat. So, but we will go up the stairs. And there's Oliver, he's very happy because they had a little remote controlled red monster truck kind of thing. So there's another neat sort of a stained glass window. Don't, don't roll that back and forth right now, son. And just a little small little room. That's the secret door back there. We won't get into that secret place just in case the Nazis come for the Jews again we'll have a place for them it's kind of funny there uh, <laughs> but another bedroom upstairs here really beautiful floors again all the doors close very nicely um, over here Hopefully you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, you can't really see it too good. The roof out there really needs some work. But in here is a closet, fairly big closet goes back in there and more blankets, more things back in there. Vacuum cleaner, place for your clothes there, little coat rack, whatever you want to call it. So that's basically the place. Um, I'm not going to show anything else up here. There's some more secret areas which we will keep secret. But let me head back downstairs here. Again, I apologize for how dark it is in here. We need to work on the lighting a little bit. But the house came fully furnished. Everything that's in here is ours. We signed the papers to make that happen. Um, a lot of uh, 
Hollywood movies there that are going to find their way to the burn pit. Absolutely. We will not be having any of that garbage in our place here. But uh, a lot of neat things in here, some things we're going to use, some things we're going to give away. Um, and uh, we'll see what all the Lord wants to do here and and uh, should be pretty exciting. We're very happy that the Lord provided us with this place. It's been a long time coming <laughs> and uh, so just a neat really great blessing. Thank you to everybody that prayed for us and I guess I'm going to shut the video down now with the walking tour and uh, then I'll maybe do some more video with just standing. So that should be it for now. All right. So there you've seen the tour of the place back in the room here that's going to be my office in the future. And um, just want to say a couple things about this new office. Uh, I'm not going to be real stressed out about where the location is. I'm not going to just be real out open with it or whatever else. It's, it's in Patton, the town of Patton on the main street in town. We're going to be having a lot of signs out and everything else to, you know, let people know that this is where ministry is going to be happening. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, We'll see what happens in the future, possible street preaching, outdoor open air preaching type of, of, of things. I, I don't know. Right, right now we're just open to the Lord's leading at this point. Um, Bridgewater was more of a, uh, we weren't really sure, you know, should we do public ministry? Should we, you know, we couldn't invite people into the home there because it was really bad, <laughs> really bad. I might do a walkthrough tour of that eventually just to, so people can see what we put up with for so many years. Um, you know, the, this place here has been a blessing. I mean, this is the first actual house we've owned since we've been married. Uh, you know, we've we've had some pretty rough living situations over the years. And um, this place was $30,000, just tell you. So it was less than what I was asking for over at the GoFundMe page. And um, it's been, it's just been a real blessing to be able to get this place. And... Uh, you know, so, but um, our policy is going to be, as far as people coming here to visit with us, the light's on on the camera, so that's why I'm not really looking into the camera lens much right now. I'm sorry about that, but that light's really bright, but it's just so dark in here. That's what's going on. But uh, our, our contact policy with this, um, I've learned over the years on the internet that there's an awful lot of people that are fake on the internet, Okay. Um, so don't think that, well, I know brother Brian because I've watched all of his videos and I just love the guy to death and he's like a brother to me or whatever. Um, and so I'm just going to show up and he's just going to welcome me with open arms. Um, no. Okay. Uh, you know me because you've seen so much of my life. You know, you've seen me, if you've been watching me for many years, you know, I've been on YouTube since 2008. So we're going on 12 years of my life that's been recorded and put out there and the struggles and the trials and the difficulties we've gone through. Um, but I don't know you. Okay. And I've had people that I thought were friends that have turned out later on to be fake and frauds. So I can't just say, Hey, everybody's welcome. You want to come up, you're coming through the town of Patton. You see where the office is at here. Um, driving by pull in. If I'm here, come on in. I'll we'll come in and have a cup of tea at the table or something. I'll make something for you to eat. Well, eh, I don't know you. I don't know you. So um, you're going to have to contact me first. Uh, we'll probably have some kind of a new email when we get here. Um, and I'll have an email just specifically for people if you want to come and visit with us, which would be fine. Uh, again, I get labeled as a hermit and I don't want to be around people. That's not true. Um, I, I will talk for hours with people. Okay. I like to talk to people very much. Um, somebody that's interested in the truth. Okay. If you're just going to be irritating and whatever else, well then no, <laughs> I'm not going to be talking too much, but, um, there has to be a process here where we're safe. That's the issue. Um, and I can't just, uh, have people come in here. So, you know, don't just stop in and whatever else. I realize we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So, um, 
aren't too many people that are just going to stop in. But uh, for those who want to, please do try to contact us first. And um, remember, I'm at a disadvantage. Okay, you know me, but I don't really know you. And so you know, have a little bit of grace for me there because, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to get to know you a little bit and stuff before I can just say, hey, come on in here. And if you are driving by and you see me out or whatever else and you want to stop and talk, that's fine. But if I say to you, okay, well, see you, whatever else, well, don't get insulted because I'm not going to just let anybody come in here. Um, you know, I believe in uh, biblical house churches, I believe, are multiple elders. And those elders talk to prospective new members before allowing them to come in. I actually read about a Russian house church that that's exactly what they did. There was a guy visiting from America and uh, he wanted to come and be part of this service. And they said to him, hey, you know, we need to talk to you first. You need to go before the elders first before they can accept you in. And uh, that's smart. That comes from people who have been persecuted. And uh, we have been persecuted down through the years. There's been a lot of people that have just tried to come in and just wreck us and ruin my marriage and, and all kinds of stuff. So don't even get in. Don't need to get into all of it. But um, so uh, you're welcome. You know, if you're in the area here, you're, you're welcome to, to come and visit with us. But you're not welcome to just come without notice. Okay. Um, and again, I was raised that way. It's not even just a ministry thing. I was raised that way. I know down south, sometimes you get the people that, that uh, oh, just stop in any time. You're always welcome. Uh, uh, not so much a practice in the north. Um, I'm a Yankee, <laughs> if you want to say it that way. I don't fall for the old rebel or Yankee, you know, Confederate stuff. That's stupid. But, you know, I'm from the north. Uh, okay. Um, we didn't just stop into people's places growing up. And people didn't just stop into our house. It was, you know, call us. Make sure we're there. Make sure that everything's fine. You know, we'll let you know when you can come or if you can come. Um, you know, that's something that some people might not understand, but, uh, if you're from the North, you, you know, and like a lot of people up here, you're, you understand what I mean. We're very friendly, very nice, like to sit down and talk, but don't come unannounced. You're not welcome here unannounced. All right. So I just want to make that clear because this office here is going to be very visible. All right. It's not going to be a top secret location or whatever else, our private property, Leave that alone, okay? Um, you know, that's, that's not people's business and whatever else. Uh, you know, this here, whatever. Um, like I said, I mean, there's going to be signs out front, going to be everything, all kinds of stuff. So uh, I guess that's going to be it. Um, again, thank you to everybody out there that donated to make this all possible. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited to be able to get down here and bring out a lot more material. Um, we're praying about, uh, being able to live stream a weekly service and where people can interact and whatever else we're looking at uh, the zoom platform. I'm going to be checking into that, doing some research on that. Uh, I also want to check into the thing of using my actual camera and audio recorder that I have on right now to uh, record audio so it's not some webcam or whatever I have a decent webcam but it's not the same thing as a high definition camera um, and so we'll see got to get better lighting in here so this little light on my camera isn't blinding me <laughs> excuse me here uh, but uh, yeah I'm not sure you know what I'm gonna have on here on you know a banner or something up here or whatever else uh, I don't know we're gonna be taking you know some of these beds and sticking them into one of the rooms that we're not going to use for now um, we'll have uses for the mattresses and things in the future so um, but now the big work begins I just I wanted everybody to see this as it is uh, you know we just bought the place we got the keys yesterday came here for the first time yesterday started walking through and getting a feel for okay we can do this do that um, and so now that we have the keys, now that we're here, now we're going to start to, to move things around and stuff. So it'll look a lot different, uh, in the future. Um, if you come, 
if you do get by for a visit or whatever else, um, it's not going to look quite like this. And uh, it's going to be a lot more computers and things in here <laughs> and books and everything else too. So uh, just some really exciting times here. And um, I guess that's going to be it. I'm going to, I can keep rambling on and on and on, but just very, very excited. Um, just a beautiful old home. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on the garage situation. Uh, I, I did get upstairs. I will be taking you upstairs for those of you that want to watch in the garage area. It's a shame. It would have been another beautiful area uh, to have, but now it is in bad shape, very bad shape. So um, looking forward to a lot more videos coming out. Please do keep us in your prayers. And uh, thank you again for all the prayers, for the donations that have made this possible. Um, King James Video Ministries is moving forward. Um, a lot of people have tried to bring us down. A lot of people have tried to stop us over the years. And God just continues to bless. God continues to move us forward. I would have quit a long time ago had the Lord told me to. I would have just said, okay, going back to the art world. I'm going to go back and make wood things and whatever else. It was a lot you know, easier way to make a living than this. And, uh, but you know, the Lord wants me doing this. The Lord wants me to preach and teach His Word um, in ways that most others don't dare to. So, just stating a fact. Um, that's what we're going to do. So, a um, lot of exciting new possibilities and, and new, new ideas and things for the future. So, that's going to be it. Next video is going to be about the garage and can we save it. So, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.